studio is sponsored by Epic, sustainable clothing brand Organic Basics. Go take a look at their simple but gorgeous organic underwear, activewear and t-shirts. Who knows what's gonna happen this summer? Will we be able to go to the beach or swim in a lake at all? Fingers crossed damn hard, because a summer without swimming is like a Saturday afternoon without champagne. It's just not all. But no matter if we're gonna sunbathe in the park, swim in the lake and picnic on the beach, or if we're just gonna open up our windows and sunbathe on the windowsill this summer, let's do it in a bikini or a one piece that makes us feel like mwah, a million quid. Different styles flatter your body in different ways. So first things first, let's figure out what area of our bodies we want to flatter. If you have no idea about your own body type and what kind of style you feel most at home in, you can always go watch my body type video right now and come right back to this one afterwards. I'll put a link in the description. But now let's talk swimwear, beginning with the basics, the cut. And listen, this is not a guide to balance out your unproportional body shape. Who cares about balance? This is a guide on how to draw attention to and highlight the areas of your body that you feel most proud and happy with. Big bumps are great, why try to make them smaller? Small boobs are great, why try to make them bigger? Big boobs are great, why not make them even bigger? You get what I mean. Enjoy the shape you have, draw attention to your favorite bits and skip your not so favorite bits. A classic one piece is probably the cut I feel most comfortable in. There's something so sporty and modern about a one piece, especially when the style has a high neckline. Perfect for anyone with a more androgynous rather than super feminine sense of style. If you want to highlight your legs and draw attention away from your waist, a one piece is the way to go. Also, if you want to just enjoy the hell out of that beach picnic basket, it can be nice to have some fabric giving support to your post-lunch food belly. A halter top will make you look a bit more curvy on top, drawing attention to your neck and widen your beautiful shoulders, which is always an area I personally like to highlight. I love the look of strong, wide shoulders, especially paired with an athletic style suit. The bandeau top will make your chest look wider and often a little bit flatter. Wide straps makes boobs appear a little bit smaller. Also good for big boob women because they give a bit more support. If your chest is a bit on the larger side, consider going up a size on the top to make sure you've got ample coverage. You want to be able to jump and run and dive without worrying about the puppies getting loose. The low waist bottoms will draw attention to your midriff, making your waist appear longer and your hips smaller. It can be a super flattering cut, but a lot of us are a bit suspicious of this cut since we've had some annoying muffin top experiences in the past, where the elastic band cuts in way too hard, making them super uncomfortable. This style is therefore quite crucial to try on before you buy, I would say, to make sure they won't make you feel self-conscious. Because the number one most important thing with swimwear is that it makes us feel proud and happy with our bodies, not all awkward and icky. Not a fan of the low waist bottoms? High waist bottoms with a low cut will draw attention to your hips. This is a general rule of thumb. The eyes will be drawn wherever there are most fabric. So if you want to flaunt those curves of yours, or if you're slim and want to create a little bit more of a curvy effect, go for the high waist, fabric heavy bottoms. Now, if you prefer wearing high waisted bottoms rather than low waisted, but you don't want to highlight your hips, go for the gorgeous 90s high cut bottoms. They will draw attention to and elongate your legs without focusing on the hip area. If you want super long legs, go for a full on thong. You can do it, I believe in you. What about if you want to go low waisted but skip the hips completely? Go for the tiniest bottom with a strappy hip. All the attention will be on that gorgeous midriff because there isn't any fabric to highlight your hips. Also, that tiny bit of fabric on the back will perfectly frame your gorgeous butt and show it off quite directly. If you go for bottoms to show a little bit of the butt cheeks, it will look like your bum is a little bit bigger and curvier than it actually is. Now, let's talk about patterns and colors and details. Rule of thumb, the more stuff, the more attention grabbing. The place on your body with most fabric will be the place the eyes are drawn to, in general. So off shoulders top will draw attention to your shoulders, wide cut bottoms to your hips, etc. Wherever you want more volume, simply add chunks of fabric, like ruffles, bows, ruched fabric, and so on. The more crazy the pattern, the more attention grabbing. So if you want to make something look bigger and even more gorgeous, cover it in patterns. Same thing with bright colors and neons, it draws attention like mad. And it's quite the opposite with solid colors. It calms down the silhouette and gives a bit more of a discreet look. 
Black is slimming, we all know this. It does the complete opposite of neons. White paired with black will draw attention to itself. White paired with neons, or patterns, will be discreet. So white is a good neutral to mix with. Which brings me to mismatching. Don't feel like you need to go for the same color and pattern top and bottom. Mismatching is a great way to control where the eyes are drawn. My tip would be to get a simple bottom in the shape that fits you perfectly and highlights whatever you want to highlight, and then just vary the beach look with different tops depending on your mood. Much cheaper than buying a whole new set of bikinis every time. What about the infamous cellulites? The most hated thing in the world, how to cover them. What can I say? Get over it. We've all got cellulites, they're meant to be there, so own it, embrace it, and flaunt those bumps. Life's too short, sis, just let them bumps jiggle all they like. The day we all accept our cellulites is the day we'll all be about this much happier. Now, go enjoy that body of yours and give me a little thumbs up or a nice little comment if you like this video and want more of them. Can't wait to talk to you down in the comments. Okay, go enjoy summer even if it's just on the windowsill this year. Don't forget to subscribe so that I'll see you next week. Again, thank you to Organic Basics for sponsoring me today. You guys know how much I love Organic Basics and I've been wearing and working with them for years now. They're from Copenhagen and they make underwear and everyday basics in organic cotton and recycled textiles. They also focus on packaging, the management of wastewater and keeping the transportation on the ground instead of in the air. I mean, everything is done right. I have extended my basics wardrobe from Organic Basics with even more amazing items, like the Silvertech Active Yoga Shorts. They are very comfortable and made of recycled materials. They're lightweight and seamless. These are part of the Silvertech Activewear line, which you don't have to wash as much as normal gym wear. And we already have t-shirts and leggings in this awesome material. And I wear the leggings at least a couple of times a week. Love them to bits. Now to the bralette and briefs combo. These babies are made out of tensile, the latest trendy eco-friendly fabric made from wood pump. They are super soft and take 80% less water to create than cotton, for example. The bralette is super soft, so perfect for those of us who can't stand uncomfortable bras. Plus, I love the style of it. Simple, minimal, but totally sexy, don't you think? The invisible tank top is made from recycled nylon. It's incredibly lightweight and durable. It's like I'm wearing nothing at all. And again, just a thing for us wired bra boycotters. Now, if you want to get your hands on your own organic basics, you can get 10% off everything with worldwide shipping. Find links below to all the items I'm wearing and just use my promo code to help save the planet and stuff. One bra at a time. Thank you Organic Basics and thank you guys so much for watching. Love ya, puss puss and hey do. There's no need to worry. It's a hysteria. It's the same thing as the climate. You can't change it. We can't do anything political about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? But, but wait, wait. So what is he, is he proving that if you get it, you don't get sick? Or is he proving 